Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking time out for yourself, being gentle as well as being patient. I know things might be trying at times, but we will get through this. So with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while, I have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of the video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been giving you good vibes or even good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like it, even also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support that you've been giving me. I greatly appreciate it and I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, I'm listening to this powerful meditation. It's called Strong 4 uh, Hertz to 5.5 Hertz Alter Altered State Meditation Journey Astral Travel Binary Iso Isochronic. And I will go ahead and post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, chaos might be happening around you, but still, we rise. And that is so true. Made me think about Maya Angelou talking about we rise. Yeah, you know, we're all going through some trying times and going through trials and tribulations. But that's what darkness wants us to go through. Darkness wants us to go through so much hell and high water that we lose focus on what is coming our way. We lose focus of the strength that we have within ourselves and put self-doubt in. And, you know, having us think that, you know, you're never going to get out of your situation. You're never going to heal from the things that has, you know, almost damn near broke you. Um, these things will constantly keep happening, but you have to be able to keep having your faith. Have that strength within yourself. Even though things might be chaotic around you and, you know, things happen. You know, your car breaks down. Getting into it with your significant other. Kids acting up. You know, summer's about to come and now you're going to have to deal with them all day. <laughs> you know, just different things like that. Bills come up. You know, a car might break down. Job, you know, you get frustrated with your job. wanting, Needing better pay. There's always something that's going to be thrown in your life to make you lose focus on the better things that are coming your way. You know, doubt keeps flowing up through your mind like, I'm never going to get through this. I'm never going to wake up from this nightmare that, you know, I constantly live every day. You know, things are not going to get better. You have to keep the faith and know things are going to get better. You see the signs every day. You might be wanting to manifest a certain thing. You might, you know, you might be married and you and your significant other wants to have children. And, you know, it hasn't been flowing right for you. You haven't been able to conceive or anything. But then you'll start seeing, you know, commercials about the EBT test or, you know, seeing people on TV giving birth to children. Um, you might be walking outside and you see somebody pushing a stroller. These are all different type of signs that things are going to happen for you, but it's not going to be when you think they are. And the things that you're praying for is coming, but it's not even going to come in the form that you think it might come. Because you could be praying on things and, you know, you're pushing out love and light. You're being positive. You're helping other people out when they're, you know, they're sad and you're trying to cheer them up. And, you know, the universe takes note on that. They see the things that you're trying to do. Even though, you know, things might not be clear to you and you might not be able to get the full just of the bigger picture. That's, that's because they need you to be able to know, you know, like, it's like darkness is coming at you universe is like they're working hand in hand you know darkness is going to come towards you and i've said this many times before it will make you feel like things are just it, it's just about to just just break go crazy that's what's supposed to the universe is basically on your side to say okay darkness is trying to bring this in but how are you going to respond to it are you going to keep doing you keep staying focused on the things that you need to keep focused on or are you going to go and fall on the trap that you used to before and so all these things that are going to keep happening for you you know there's people you know the government acting crazy you know people that are pushing out positivity and everything like this getting assassinated it, it's just and 
things keep going keep going and darkness does not want Hayokas or any empaths prevail but love is going love is going to conquer everything so you have to keep going and doing you knowing these things happen for a reason knowing you know it, it the situations you go through is basically strengthening you in ways you never thought you might be praying for one thing and next thing you know you get you you not not just get the blessings that you want but it's going to be that magnified magnified you're going to get more things than you ever even dreamed of. It's just like I told y'all, you know, even I have to tell myself, do you know the magnitude of the blessings you're about to get just because of the goodness you're, you're doing for yourself as well as for others? You know, it might be hard at times. There might be days you just don't want to get out of the bed in the morning. There might be days that you cry, you know, cry your eyes out and nobody is not aware of these things. But you keep doing you. Crying is just showing the strength. You know that you're tired that's when strength has been going for so long and strong strength is all you had at that point and sometimes that gets you know it gets uh let me see what word i'm trying to use it can get tiring at time i can't figure out the word i'm trying to use so i'm just using it gets tiring at times especially if you know you've been strong for so long and you're like god universe i'm so tired you know i'm doing everything you asked me to do i'm trying to keep my thoughts you know you know on positive things but things keep coming at me that's when when you know that things are kind of try its best to break you down that's when you know you're on the right path so you keep doing the things that you need to do you know no matter what goes on around you you stay focused on the things that you're trying to aim for you know that you have that strength and keep believing in yourself that you will get out of your situation no matter what people are doing around you you worry about what you're doing don't be worrying about what the next folks do you know or you see somebody getting their blessings and you still haven't got yours yet yours you, you know they had to wait they're doing the same thing you had to do you had to wait because you don't know what God's putting in store for your your, your little blessing box you know it's just like oh you know I'm seeing this person get this I'm seeing this person get that but how come I used to be that way you know I'm, I'm happy for them you know I'll stay happy because the fact is when you're happy for people you have to basically be happy for them like it's like you getting that because when you see that you're congratulating somebody and not even being bitter about it, that lets you know that you're not repelling your blessings away. Because you can't hate on the next person that's getting there because you never know what kind of struggles, what kind of sacrifices, what they had to go through to get to what they had. they probably been going through this stuff longer than you have. You know what I'm saying? But you never knew what these people had to go through to get where they had to get it. As long as you know you keep doing you, you're doing everything you're supposed to do, no matter what darkness tries to throw at you, what chaos that pops off around you, you have to keep staying focused on the things that you want. Know that you will get through these things. You believe that you will get through these things. Stay prayed up. Keep meditating. Keep manifesting using the law of attraction on the things that you want. Don't stop doing that. Just because you haven't got it yet. And then when you do get it, don't you better stop. You, you better be still grateful for it. Because what you get can be taken away. I've seen too many people that have gotten their blessings. And then as soon as they got it, they got cocky. They got real cocky. And God has... <laughs> don't think because God gave it to you. Don't think he won't give it away. Because especially like, oh, I done gave, you know, Sam and Jane this this situation this situation they prayed for me prayed to me months and months and years and years for them to get that and then when they got it they act like they didn't know anybody or it was all for self you know that you can't do that you know you have to pray and be thankful every single day when you got it you know i hear posts i'll see posts all the time don't sit up here and stop praying just because you got what you got you supposed to still pray Every time you be able to get out the out the bed the next day and you prayed and got what the things you got, you still supposed to be thankful for it because you never know what magnitude it might ascend after you got that blessing. So you keep doing you, and it's just like the chaos that happens around you is supposed to happen because it's just fact is this is gonna make you rise and in, in, um and in, uh within the mist of the fire, it is, and I have to keep telling myself that every day. You know, craziness happens around me all the time. Waking up in a nightmare that you can't get away from. I, I mean, but I just keep pushing. I just keep pushing. 
you know, I, I try to keep a positive outlook on things, even though not every day is perfect. Not every day I'm going to be in that positive mood. There's days that I get aggravated. There's days that I just, I don't want to get out of bed in the morning, but I find reasons. There might be one or two reasons for me to stay in that low frequency, but there's a thousand and one reasons for me to rise. And I'm going to pick the, you know, I'm going to kick, pick the pros instead of the cons. I, I really am, you know, because it's just like, I can't, I'm, I'm a sore loser. I can't let the people that's trying so hard keep me down to win. I'm not going to allow that to happen. Even though there's times I, you know, there's people I've been close to and I said, you know what, I give up. <laughs> I'm so tired of dealing with this. I'm so tired. I give up. But anytime that I see that I'm able to help somebody and let them see the things that they're not, they're, they can't see within themselves because we're in the midst of that chaos. We're so busy paying attention to everything that's going wrong around us we're not paying attention to the signs that's coming to us that things are going to change because you have to be able to step back and see that bigger picture when you're not in your emotions when you're not in your feelings and knowing that things are going to get better for you you're going to rise no matter what because that's the reason why things are coming at you the way they're coming at you because they want to make sure you fail because they're like oh no Sally, Sally doing too daggone good, and you know, universes. We we saw what the universe got them prepared for. Oh no, nah. they'll start bringing people out of your past, out of the woodworks. They come knocking at your door, come calling you and see what what you're doing, trying to hit you up on one of these social media sites. Block all that. <laughs> you already know what kind of drama they caused when they were in your life. If they're not supposed to be there, trust me. If they were supposed to be there, they would have stayed. They don't leave and then come back. You know, you don't do all that. Once they leave, be like the Rock of Gibraltar, dag on uh, Fort Knox. You know that uh, what is you know that uh, you know that bank, not Fort Knox, but you know whatever that dag on bank is. Which once you in, you in, you out, you out. You can't come back. So you just keep doing you. Anytime somebody trying to pop up back in your life, knowing you know it was. It was all all an uproar. Don't allow them to come back in your life, cause that's what the, when they see that things are starting to come in good for you, they want to be able to make sure they can pray against you getting it. People come into your life. There are so many people I don't took out my life. My friends were like, Rosalind, what if it's somebody you know and they did this and that? I don't care. I, I I've had enough of family and friends playing mind games with me over certain situations. I don't have time or the patience when it comes to folks like that. If I see that you're not supposed to be in my life, I'll exit you out. When I when I don't like my time being wasted, I will straight tell people I don't like my time being wasted. And it's not about me being a bitch. It's not about me being, you know, rude or anything. But I'm gonna tell you. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I'm going to straight tell you and keep doing me, you know, because there's so many people out here I can help. There's so much awareness that I'm bringing forth towards the table to allow people to know better days are coming for you. You know, these days might seem brutal to you. It's going to be like that because you're coming towards the end of that cycle. You're coming towards the end of that cycle. So all hell about to break loose. So when you know that all hell about to break loose, you know you're about to be like that phoenix out of the ashes. You're about to soar up out of there. When you already at the rock bottom, there is nowhere to go but up. So you have to keep knowing that for yourself. So I hope you are able to rec uh, recognize, resonate with this video <laughs> drop me a line and let me know how you feel about it give me your two cents to let me know what your opinion is about this situation you know you, you've been going you see hell going on around you but you pay attention to where you're trying to go so my post notification shout out goes to donald j and elena carter much love to you i hope all is well sending love and blessings to you and love and light and send out as much you know uh, positivity, happiness, and, you know, love that you can, and know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. Drop me a line, subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up, so I can be able to give you, you know, you give a shout out on my next video. So I will talk to y'all later. Much love to you. Peace, and be wild. Well.